Hello, my friends. All right, my friends, today is Thursday, which means it's science experiment day. So today we are actually going to make our own parachutes. Not a parachute that we could use because I would never want you to try to jump off anything with a parachute because that would be very dangerous. But we can make a parachute for a little toy boy or girl or a car or an animal, something like that. So what you need is some kind of a cup that you will be able to cut into smaller and poke holes into. You need some kind of string or something, four of them, that you will be able to tie to the cup and the napkin that is going to, or a Kleenex, or a paper towel that is actually going to be the parachute piece, okay? So we're gonna make a parachute that's gonna look like this with the cup down here, and then we're going to be able to drop it and see how it floats, all right? Now remember, this is an experiment, so that means we have to practice, 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 and keep trying until we get it right, right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it down so you can see the table, and let's get started. I'm excited for this one. All right, so the first thing we have to do is cut down our styrofoam cup. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down about halfway because we don't want our cups to be too heavy. If they're too heavy, then they're not going to be able to float very well. This also could be a hot air balloon if you wanted to blow up a balloon and um, tie it to the cup and um, then you would have a hot air balloon, right? All right, so it didn't turn out too pretty cutting it, but that's okay. And then what we're going to do is poke four holes, one on each side, so that we can put our strings in and don't do it right by the end edge. Do it down a little bit so that it doesn't rip it and to go very easy. And just like that, we have a hole. Now turn it over onto the next side. Do very easy. We don't want to break our cup. Next side. And finally, our last side. So now we have a cup, as you can see, that has four holes in it, right? So one, two, three, and there's one back here where my thumb is, four. All right, go ahead and take your strings or whatever it is that you wanna tie, and you're gonna put them through the holes, and then we're going to tie them onto the napkin. I have decided to use a napkin. You could use a piece of paper and tie it to the piece of paper. You could use um, a paper towel. You could use a Kleenex. You could try toilet paper. You could try whatever you think would be able to be cool to make a parachute. Remember, this is an experiment. So you go ahead and experiment with different materials. I actually am using um, not string. This is actually like confetti um, little streamers that I use when I do your guys' birthday celebration video. So we're going to go ahead and just put all four of them in the holes. If it doesn't fit, you just might have to make it a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Just use your pencil and make it a little bigger. And then to make it stick to the Kleenex or napkin or tissue, whatever you, paper, whatever you're using, you can staple it if it's big enough. You can use tape. You can use glue. You can tie it on. This is an experiment, and it is for you to test and see which one works best. But in the end, we'll see if it can help it float carefully to the ground. We want it to float. We don't want it to drop. All right, so I'm going to actually use um, a combination of tape and um, tying it, I think, is what I want to do. So I'm also going to experiment. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and poke four holes right in the corner of my napkin. And then, like I said, I'm going to use tying and some tape just to be sure that it's extra sturdy. 
And because it's an experiment, we'll find out if it works once we get it all attached and we're trying to fly it, right? So a great way to, to tie this, the normal thing would be take these two and do it. Instead, parents, if you take the two pieces together and you put it into a knot, it will tie a lot more secure. It doesn't come out as easy. That's up to you which way you would like to tie it. And of course, you have to have longer string and patience, or shorter string, in order to make this work. Oh, pencil's running away again. Tuck it right down inside of here into the circle and pull tight. It's a little hard to do these. I think these are um, knots that they use on a boat. So just like that. And then what I'm gonna actually do is also hold it with some tape just to be sure that it stays steady and secure. So I'm gonna kind of just roll it onto that knot that I made. There we go. And then I will do the next one. I'm gonna actually go across. So I will grab the other purple one and pull it from across the way. And stick it in. this one together using that same type of knot. Put it together, get it around your fingers, and then slip it right into this little hole right here. And then pull tight. Oh, I lost it. Just looking at the camera to be sure you saw it and I lost my own knot. One. it again. And there we go. I've got the next one done. Pull it really tight. I'm also going to put some tape on this one just to make sure it's extra secure. And then let's get our third side. Tie that as well. side done. Put a little bit of tape on that one. And let's get our last side on here. might also want to put tape on the napkin so it doesn't rip especially when we're trying to fly it we wouldn't want to do all this work for it just to rip on the first test right and just pull that one a little bit of tape on it and we are ready to fly it All right, so first, here is our parachute, right like that. I will put our purple crayon inside of it because that's the color of the week, and purple could be the first one to take a flight, okay? Get this out of the way. Let's 
see what happens. Whee! All right, I'm going to go ahead and try this over on the ground. Oh, it was so cool. Let me try it again. Let's see if I can get you to be able to see how it floats to the ground, too. You see that? Instead of just falling straight down, it floated. How fun. All right, have fun with this. Send me pictures. Bye.